the commissioners had approved uh, funding of $35,000 for repairs to the clock tower, and that included the engineering fees and then the actual construction cost uh, because the floor was deteriorating in the in the tower. Chunks of concrete had fallen and it was badly in need of repair. And just as an aside, during the, the major renovation of the courthouse back in the 90s, the clock tower was not included in that in any way. So there's been some work that's been needed to, done to the clock tower for a long period of time, including the stone work that was done back in the 90s as well. Um, there are windows, 20 windows in the clock tower that are in need of replacement. That was not included in the scope of work for this project of replacing the floors. Uh, but it's work that, would, that is needed. And the court approved the cost of paying for the windows um, at a price of $7,300. I think it was $7,336 uh, as a change order for this project. And the, again, the court is paying for that. I'll let Joe address if, if necessary. There, I think they're 16 by 20 or, um, I apologize, I don't remember the, the actual. Size. Yeah. Uh, 6 by 20, I believe. Thank you. Can look over there, Adam. Yeah. You can actually see them in, in the clock tower from here. Those are in need of replacement. There's also a request to replace the ladder from the level of the clock up to the bell tower. Um, and I would ask Joe to address issues related to the to replacing the, the ladder that goes on up into the tower. So we're here today because the change order has been submitted to replace actually two sections of ladder in the courthouse in the tower um, and I'm asking the commissioners if, to consider paying for the cost of that in light of the fact that the court has paid for the cost of replacing the windows that's being done as part of this project as well. Now, answer any questions that you may have about either the work that's being done or why we... Tell, tell us what the work is, again, that's being done that we've already approved. Describe yeah, that for us and why what the ladder, I guess, part of that. Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about that. The board had asked me to evaluate the clockwork support floor and access stairs up to it because they'd heard, they'd had reports that it was unsafe. So I'd never been over there. I, w I went up there and it, it, it was unsafe. The floor had actually fell in a couple places. So, and the stairs weren't safe. So I had read a report and said, you know, this needs replaced. Uh, during that time, no one really requested these other two sets of stairs. So I didn't, didn't include it. Um, that, that first work is ongoing right now. These two sets of stairs, I wouldn't say they're structurally unsound, but they're not the best. Uh, stairs are just pipe stairs, if you will. They have no handrail. They have no tread. They're usable, uh, but I, I kind of doubt whether they meet OSHA requirements or not. But anyway, Bill Brockner, who works over there, has requested this. The stairs be replaced, and it's whatever you guys want to do. It's, $4,600, I think. $4,600? $4,600. The total cost is actually more than that, is The contractor, actually, they had requested four items of work over there. The two sections of ladder, painting the fourth and fifth floor with a exterior, exterior enamel. I guess those floors are in bad shape and they painted. And then painting the access door from the roof and to the tower. The painting of the floors was $1,512. The painting of the access door was $275. Marcus told me that you'll do that. You'll do that work. But the stairs, he asked that I contact Rick and, and see if the board would pay for that. And that total was $4,650.